Hello, my friends and students. This is Alexander and Key to Russian Project. Welcome to revision video of the second lesson. In the first lesson, we've covered a great deal of information. You now know the basic reading rules, you can distinguish parts of speech, and of course, you are trained to type and write in Russian. In the exercises of the second lesson, we've covered a lot of rules to consider as well. You've learned many different and useful verbs and practiced them in all kinds of drills. I hope you've listened enough to each of my audio records for this lesson. Now we're gonna summarize your skills by involving you into a conversational practice. Listen to the monologue, pay attention to intonation and pronunciation. And here's our new character, David. He wants to tell you something. Привет! Я говорю по-английски. Но сегодня я уже хочу говорить по-русски. Я делаю это не очень хорошо. Но я думаю, вы понимаете, почему. Это только второй урок. Так вот, каждый день я читаю и говорю по-русски. Я слушаю и печатаю. Думаю, что второй урок хороший, и я понимаю его. А вы? Что вы думаете? Моя работа хорошая? Я уже хорошо говорю. Спасибо. In the second lesson, we've paid much attention to verbs, conjugating them in all persons. Now let's practice some of them again. Please say in Russian. I speak English and Russian. Я говорю по-английски и по-русски. And how do we say that she speaks Russian? Она говорит по-русски. And now let's pose a question. Does she speak Russian well? Она хорошо говорит по-русски. Do you remember how we construct negative sentences? Let's try. Say, they don't speak English. Они не говорят по-английски. Now, let's recollect what we know about animate and inanimate nouns in Russian. A man or a cat are animate nouns. So, how do we say, who is this? Кто это? And how would you say, who are they? What about inanimate nouns? Please ask. What is this? Что это? This is a book. Это книга. All right. Have you learned demonstrative pronouns well enough? Let's check. Please say in Russian. This is a book and that is a newspaper. Это книга, а то газета. And what about possessive pronouns? Let's check. Please say. That house is mine. Тот дом мой. This newspaper is his. Эта газета его. That window is hers. Это окно Ее. This book and this newspaper are mine. Эта книга и эта газета мои. They are mine. Они мои. How would you say in Russian, where do you work in a formal way? Где вы работаете? What would be the informal version? Where do you work? Где ты работаешь? Good. The verb работать belongs to the first conjugation. What about verbs of the second conjugation? How would you say I'm phoning? Calling on the phone. Я звоню. He is not phoning. Он не звонит. He's working. Он работает. See the difference in their endings? Звонит, говорит, the second conjugation verbs, and работает, 
делает, are verbs of the first conjugation. Okay, and finally, let's review imperative mood. How would you ask a person in a formal way to continue speaking? Please, keep on speaking. Пожалуйста, говорите. And what about informal way? Please, speak. Пожалуйста, говори. Now say to your colleagues, please work. Пожалуйста, работайте. And now you ask your kid to work well. Please work well. Пожалуйста, работай хорошо. Great job, guys. I'm sure that you will get the hang of it. There are many new verbs in the second lesson. Please review them as often as possible. You'll need them in upcoming lessons. However, I think the idea of the Russian conjugation is more or less clear to you now. So, well, can I ask you now in Russian, вы понимаете второй урок? Do you understand the second lesson? Now, one last remark. Many students confuse the infinitive form of verbs with their personal forms. They sometimes say, вы понимать второй урок, which is incorrect. Let's compare two phrases. Please say, I want to understand. Я хочу понимать. And I understand. Я понимаю. Another example, you want to listen in a formal way. Вы хотите слушать. And you are listening. Вы слушаете. So, in order to be able to speak a foreign language well, I can give you an advice using the imperative mode. Слушайте, читайте, печатайте, говорите и думайте по-русски каждый день. Which means listen, read, type, speak and think in Russian every day. I'll repeat it one last time. Слушайте, читайте, печатайте, говорите и думайте по-русски каждый день. That's it for the second lesson. Subscribe to my channel and my newsletter. Join our Facebook page, leave your comments if you have any questions. Tell me what topics would you like me to cover in my videos. This is Alexander and Key2Russian Project. Thank you for your time and have fun learning. Udachi!